Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay with J&W Cards. I'm here with another video for my uh, Through the Mail series. This should be my fourth episode, I believe. My Through the Mail series. I could be wrong if I am. Apologies, and you'll probably see a correction down below. So, in this series, I send out cards to retired players, mostly some current players. Sometimes they charge. Most of them, it's for free. And I try to get them to sign as many cards as I could. Some only sign one at a time. So I'll send to them multiple times if I have to. If I have a card, I really want them to sign. Um, so yeah, so today I got back three. I'm gonna only try to do three a video just for time. Um, I do try to wait until I have a bunch and film them all at once. Just break it up into three videos. Like always, I do open these prior to the video just because I have a knife that doesn't like to be a knife. What is that? And, um, but I don't peek to see what's inside, but I do have uh, stuff written down about everybody that I did send to, so I have some stats ready on the go, on the ready, whatever you want to say. So here we go, let's see what this is. They did not sign the index cards. What is this? Oh, Ronnie Hansen, very nice. I specifically got this card because I saw that he writes the inscription of the rookie of the year that he won in 1960 on this card on his other cards he doesn't write that which is fine i get it this is his rookie card and it's a rookie star card uh ronnie hansen for the baltimore orioles he was just shortstop so let's see a little bit about ronnie hansen or ron hansen i guess whatever his name is <clears throat> he played from 58 to 72 for the Orioles from 58 to 62, the White Sox from 63 to 67, the Senators in 68, the White Sox again from 68 to 69, the Yankees from 70 to 71, and the Kansas City Royals in 72. He is a two-time All-Star, and he is a AL Rookie of the Year. He batted 234, had 106 home runs, and 501 RBIs. I actually wrote that he had 501 home runs and 106 RBIs that clearly clearly didn't make sense. That's why I hesitated there for a second. Um, he is currently 81 years old. And he actually just turned 81 in April. So I can never pick, oh, I'm sorry. I can never get these cards up. So that's very nice. Ron Hansen, as you can see, he signed it. Ron Hansen, not Ronnie Hansen. Sure, that was a name he went by when he was younger. All right, so cool. Thank you, Ron Hansen. Get this out of here. Let's see what number two is. This feels like there's cardboard or card saver in here. Oh, got a signature on the card. It was only one of them. John Matlack, 1972 NL Rookie of the Year. Nice. I actually asked him to. Let's grab one of his, I think I sent him his rookie card. I asked him to do that, but that's fine. And there's his rookie card. Awesome. 72 tops signed nicely so that everyone else can sign. Buzz Carper does sign, so I might send it out to him. Leroy Stanton did sign, but he has passed away. I've seen uh, pictures of this card signed by all three, so unfortunately, I won't be able to get that done, but I might go for Buzz Capper, we'll see. I haven't even looked to see if I have an address for him. But anyway, it's really cool, very nice. Let's get this out of there, so we got that. This is 82, I think, FLIR. All right, yeah, 80. yeah, 82. This was actually out of a fresh 82 FLIR pack. Look at the corners on that. Super sharp, very nice, and of course, 84 tops. This was out of one of Back in the Game Collecting's 84 repacks. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, you should. He has some great deals on vintage sets. All right, very nice. Thank you, John Matlack. I really like that he signed the index card. Oh, I probably shouldn't cover the autograph on that side, but we'll do that. Cool. Thank you, thank you. 
And a little bit about John Matlack. He was a pitcher, as you can see by the pictures. He went 125 and 126. His ERA was 318. He had 1,516 strikeouts. He played from 1971 to 83. Played for the Mets from 71 to 77. The Rangers from 78 to 83. He was a three-time All-Star, 74, 75, and 76. And as you can see by his inscription on the card, he won the NL Rookie of the Year in 1972. He is currently 69 years old. And that's all I got about him. All right. Thank you, John Matlack. This one is very thick. Perfect. Al Weiss for the 1969 Mets. I asked him to inscribe one of the cards, 69 Champs. Maybe I'm not being clear in my letters because he also wrote it on the card. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, let me see if he answered anything in my letter. He did write a little squiggly, which was nice. I'm sure he was just testing out his pen. Let's see, let's go over the cards first, then we'll do the letter. Oh, making a mess here of my display. 68 tops. A nice signature. Signed it in the right spot. 65, very nice. And 64. Oh, I'm sorry, 66. Cool. I think I asked him to sign this one. Um, with the 69 champ, since this is a 68, but that's the year when the card came out. Uh, when they would have won. Um, cool. So thank you very much, Al Weiss. Let's see what he if he answered questions. And he did. I asked, oh, I guess Frank Robinson broke his leg. So I asked if Frank Robinson apologize for breaking your leg. He put no in capitals. Because he was I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have asked him that, but whatever. Um, I asked him, was second base the position you chose or was it chosen for you? He wrote, shortstop was my first position, but I liked second base best. And that's all he answered. I don't know if I really asked him anything else. But that was very cool. He did win the Babe Ruth Award. I congratulate him on that. All right, let's learn a little bit about Al Weiss. Al Weiss played for the Chicago White Sox from 62 to 67 and the Mets from 68 to 71. So obviously he played from 62 to 71. He won the World Series in 1969. He also won the Babe Ruth Award that year. And he was a 1963 Topps All-Star rookie team member. Um... Let's see, he batted 219, seven home runs, and 115 RBIs. He is currently 81 years old, and he was born in Bethpage, New York, which is Long Island, which is uh, close to where the Mets play, so that must have been pretty cool for him to play for the Mets and win a World Series there. And the Mets just celebrated the 50th anniversary of the 69 World Series. So that's pretty cool. As usual, I'll post the addresses for all three of these players after this video um, is over. You'll see the addresses on the screen. If you wanna send uh, some cards out to these guys, please do write them a little letter, let them know that you're interested in them, not just getting an autograph. That's why I always ask questions. It's pretty cool to get um, a letter back or even just responses to an answer responses to a question that you ask them. And I'm sure they're grateful that you're interested. Um, yeah, so, and if you're looking for an address for a player you wanna get an autograph from, just let me know and I'll see if I can get it for you. If you can't find it, um, I'll always try to help you guys out if you need them. So, thanks again. Um, like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications for every time I post a new video. Thanks, guys.